Hi guys, it's Jimmy. So I thought I'd turn on the camera really quick. I love using under paper as my palette for scraping off paint, all that kind of stuff. Um, I use rice paper, I use paper bag, um, index cards, whatever I have kind of hanging around, I will use as a palette or to scrape leftover paint off or anything like that. And I love incorporating these pages um, into my journals and into projects, collages, that kind of thing. But um, sometimes they just need a little bit more oomph. So one thing that I like to do, especially when I'm on the phone, is um, I just take just a selection of pens. So you can use whatever kind of pens you want. Jelly rolls, um, ballpoint pens. Um, these are Deco Arts paint pens. These are Craft Smart pens. So I really love their gold. It's such a beautiful gold black pen you can even use magic markers it doesn't matter and um, just grab your favorite kind of papers that you like to use or that um, you use in your projects and you're just going to add little doodles to them so um, it's really fun plus you get to kind of see how your pins work very very well and I just make marks so like with this one this is just a plain white pen maybe I'll just do like some dashes and that way, when I tear them off and add them to my art journal pages, or if they're in the bag of scraps for my students, um, they can pick something that has a little bit more interest, maybe that I wouldn't have thought to doodle. But, you know, it's a little bit random, a little bit interesting. So you can do something like that. Um, gold looks really great on black, so I kind of keep that in mind. So maybe for this one, I do like circles. And don't overthink it. I think it's really nice when you do it, like when you're just um, watching TV or something, or you really don't have to think about it. Okay, but that looks, that already looks really cool. And I can totally cut those out and glue them or add them to an art journal page and they look really cool. We could just, you could just use something like this. Like this is just a ballpoint pen, right? So we could just go around and I like making swirls, maybe make like two or three swirls. But this is a great way to practice like art marks. I love art marks um, or doodling. You could do something like that. So, I mean, I could just glue this to a page and already there's some interesting marks there too. So we could do, I did dots down here in gold. Um, but we could add other stuff, like maybe we could do some crosses here too. But a little bit bigger, the more ink comes out of these paint pens. And I love using paint pens because I don't have to worry. Um, I can seal it on top and it's okay. You could also use your gel pens too. They're really great for this. Like the Sakura pens are awesome for this. I don't have very many, uh, but I did happen to get some on clearance. So I could use like this orange and I just kind of like to look for things that I think will kind of look good together. So maybe um, for this yellow color, I could go in and this is rice paper that I used as under paper for a project. So, and these are the, I think these are the moonlight ones. Jelly roll moonlight. Yeah. So these are really cool. They want, they go over a lot of dark paper or dark paint very, very easily. And it would look really cool on that gray too. I love it even more on the gray. I think that was a better choice. So we could do something like that. Just circles. And this will help you too, like um, just to figure out marks that you love to make. I know that I've doodled on watercolor sheets and I will link that video before. Like I like to make swatches and then color on watercolor. I think it's really interesting. So that's kind of what those circles look like. Oh, can I do? Oh, you could even use your crown. So this is just a Karen Dodge that I use for my abstract. So it looks really good on like white. Um, so I just like to draw kind of random circles, maybe like two or three. And then you get kind of that really pretty like chalky color, which I love. Very cool. And you could even use like a permanent pen, right? So we could do something like I tend to make the same kind of marks, but that's okay. We'll kind of expand, I'll try to expand myself a little bit. Let me see. Maybe we can make some, um, some asterisks. I think that's what they're called. Can't really see them though. So maybe that wasn't a good plan. 
but part of this is just kind of experimenting so don't worry about it It'll, it's fine and of course dots always look really awesome especially in white I love dots in white And I wouldn't fill up the entire page, but just a little bit of interest in some of your pages because I would totally use this as an art journal page, you know, glue it down and then add some gesso to it and then add more colors or use it as a scrap page or something like that. So it's just fun. It's just fun to kind of mindlessly doodle and have fun. And on these white parts, like I would definitely like add marks to those too. You know, we could do like triangles, like there's a lot that you can do. And this one is pretty much done. I probably need to throw this pin away, but. I think one of my students kind of went crazy on it. Not fun. <laughs> I can be a little weird using paint bins for the first time, I guess, so. She did not know why the ink was com wasn't coming out, so she went a little crazy on it. But I will definitely incorporate it into my art. It's fine. I use all sorts of things that <laughs> most people would probably throw away, but it works. So you can do something like that. Very cool. So just grab your whatever you have, and just kind of have a good time and doodle around and see the things that you can come up with, right? So let's try, we could do like, um, I mean, you could even do like hearts if you feel so inclined, right? I'm not really kind of a heart girl, but for the purpose of this, I will do this. And ballpoint pins work great over acrylic paint. Um, so this paper is a little thin, so that might be a problem, but over acrylic paint, it does work very, very well. So little hearts, you could do big circles, that kind of thing. So there's just a ton that you can do. So I hope that this inspires you, that it kind of gets your mind working on um, just how to use these little pieces of paper that you have hanging around on your desk, you know, that we all use to make notes and that kind of thing. Um, just how to add even more interest to them, right? So this is just a really skinny pen, right? So I could do maybe some... I like making um, these kind of marks that um, kind of look like coffee beans or something. I think that's always an interesting mark. But I, I love making marks. Like, I need to so make a journal just full of art marks because um, I think they're so fun to make, like, these little doodles and stuff. It's just interesting, and I can cut that up and glue it on a page, and it just adds interest, and I really love to have just – a piece of my hand in my work so it's just kind of a personal preference thing so and I love these little crosses I think those are adorable I'm totally use those for something Aren't those cute so yeah okay guys so that is it thank you so much um if you have any questions let me know and I would love to hear ideas of how you use your scrap paper um if you use it in your journals if you'd like to see a video on how on other fun ways to use scrap paper I created a playlist too that I'll link on art marks and on using your scrap papers because I I love using scrap paper especially in my art and that kind of stuff this one I'm going to rip up because um, I am doing an art journaling class with my students this weekend um, so we're going to incorporate some of these some of this these marks and stuff into it or I'm going to make this page available to them and I love just being able to glue this down and not really overthink it and just the colors and the combinations that you get from these under papers is just amazing and always inspires me so i'll see you guys later have a wonderful day thanks so much for watching give me a thumbs up please share this video with your friends and i will see you later bye bye